Hey guys, it's Mo. Welcome to today's video. I'm excited. I am. I'm excited because you know what? When I see others who have been on this platform doing their thing, do their thing, it makes me happy. So today I'm going to be sharing with you Mel Thompson's collaboration with Sydney Grace. This is the Tiny Marvels eyeshadow palette. This is Mel in a palette. So in today's video, we're going to talk all about this palette. We're going to do swatches and we're going to do four different looks. And then because it is my first time trying Sydney Grace eyeshadows, I'm going to share my overall thoughts and first impressions with you as well. So the outer packaging is identical to the actual palette. And the actual palette is made out of a very nice, sturdy feeling cardboard. Shall we open her up and see? Ooh, I'm not ready. <laughs> when you open it up, you do have a really nice full size mirror and ooh, plastic. Here are all of the beautiful shadows. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Mel did mention that there's only one shade in here that is already existing in the Sydney Grace line, and it is this shade here, Scarab. Other than that, these are all new shades. So this palette launches this Friday, August 7th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it's going to be sold exclusively on the Sydney Grace website. The cost of this palette is $52. You have 15 shades, and the total weight is 30 grams. Yes. Okay, so I think I covered everything I wanted to say. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do some swatches and a couple of looks. So here's the first three. Let's swatch. Web. Tree Hopper. <laughs> the names are so cute. Fire Butt. Oh. walking stick and then the one and then the one shade she said was permanent from the line which is scarab oh. so this is the first row okay, so we're moving on to the second row this is flutterby bb for your girl kelsey brianna J way yeah wow Mantis. Meadowhawk. Ooh, that's pretty. And Love Bug. Okay. Jewel B. Marvel. Oh my goodness. And then Death Moth. Leave it to me to swatch on the elbow. Here goes. <laughs> so flattering. All right, so Bugaboo. And then Spider. Listen, if these swatch as good as they've swatched on my elbow, that tells you all you need to know. Wow. Here is the entire palette. Oh. My it is so pretty. I'm going to start off with shade Tree Hopper, and this is my Wayne Goss number 16. Now, all I have on my eyes is my Ilia concealer and a little translucent powder. This shade is pretty much my skin tone, so I'm just using it to start the gradient that I want to build. Wayne Goss number three into the shade Walking Stick. I'm gonna put this directly in my crease. And as you can see, I'm holding my brush all the way at the end of the handle so we get a nice soft deposit of color. 
and I'm slowly focusing this shade in my crease and just taking my time to blend it to my desired intensity. <laughs> Taking my Wayne Goss number four, and I'm gonna go into this shade, Death Moth. Use that to just deepen up my eye before we go in with the lid shade. See, what I like about these two shades is walking stick right here. You can see it's a little more green and a little bit lighter. And then Death Moth is deeper, so you'll be able to use it to like darken up any look. And then I'm just going back in with my Wayne Goss number three to diffuse and blend. Just laying the groundwork for the lid shade that I'm gonna be going in with. I am gonna take my finger into Scarab and apply that to my lid. That's pretty. I'm gonna leave a little space in the beginning portion of my lid because I wanna go with another color. I'm gonna take my pinky and I'm gonna go into Fire Butts. <laughs> Such a cute name. All of the names in here are adorable. All right, we're gonna put that on the beginning portion. Oh my goodness. And where the two colors meet, I am just going to pat to create a soft blend between the two colors. And just wiped off my finger. This is an Isom W21 brush. There's no product on it. I am just going to softly pat the edges to perfect everybody. I'm gonna go in with Death Moth on my little Wayne Goss number seven brush. Work on the lower lash line a little bit. And I'm using my Wayne Goss number four. There's no product to just give a soft blend. Taking a pencil brush into Fire Butts. <laughs> I love that name. Just gonna intensify my inner corner with that. I'm gonna go in with a brown eyeliner on my waterline. I already blended Tree Hopper on this eye. I'm gonna, gonna go into this pretty pinky flutterby with a Wayne Goss 16. My Wayne Goss number seven. I'm gonna go into Love Bug. The mattes I find are very soft. Ooh. Just gonna build that up. Same number seven that we use on the lid. I'm gonna take that into Bugaboo. And then now I'm gonna go in with a number four that I cleaned off and blend that. I'm gonna go back into Flutterbee, that nice pretty pink. Kind of re-intensify it and blend. And then I'm actually taking my number four from Wayne Goss. I'm gonna bring that dark bugaboo into my crease. 
on a pencil brush, we're going to go into web. I know this is going to be bright, but that's okay. I'm going to put that on the inner corner. For my lower lash, I'm going to take this little guy, the number seven, and go into Bugaboo. And then the same brush that we used on the lid, I'm going to just soften my lower lash line a little bit. Making my big number 16 with no product, and we're just going to blend just to perfect everything. Going in with a brown pencil in the waterline. So, for my first two looks, I wanted to be a little more bold and dramatic and have fun with the colors in this palette. And I did one eye that's a little more shimmery. So we have Scarab, Firebutt on the lid. Such, these are fun together. And I couldn't resist. So, for this look, we went a little more shimmery. And on this eye, I kept it a little more matte. Love Bug and Bugaboo the little stars and then I went in with web on the inner corner. I went in with a nude lipstick. I have Gucci Penny Beige and then I topped it with this Pat McGrath gloss. All the products I will list down below in the description box for you. So I want to create some more wearable easier looks and kind of show the versatility of this palette because yes the colors are fun and I don't mind wearing this at any given time but I want to show you that we can also get some nice, wearable, lighter kind of looks with the palettes. So, I'll be right back. I am going to start off with my Wayne Gauze number 16, and I'm going to go into Flutterby. I'm just going to run that in my crease. Okay. I feel like I'm coming up. Let me fix my camera. One second. Oof. I think I fixed my camera. Okay. Where were we? I went into the pinky shade on my Wayne Gauss 16 and I started just blending it in my crease. I know the term wearable might be a little different for everyone, but but for me, I, I like color. I don't always just do browns. I don't mind some color. So with this look, I'm going to definitely keep it soft and wearable. But I am going to use a little bit of color, just a little bit of color. The same shade, I'm going in with my Wayne Goss number 20. And I'm going to blend that on my lower lash line. I'm going to take my finger into Meadow Hawk. This really pinky, shifty beautifulness. Let's put that on the lid. Oh, me, oh my. Then I'm going to go into the shade Marvel right here and use it as the inner tear duct highlight. Metal Hawk is definitely more pinky and Marvel is more goldy champagne-y. I have setting powder all over my finger. Now instead of going in with a liquid liner, I'm going to take the shade Spider and I'm going to stamp that and use it like if I were to use a liquid liner. I'm just keeping it nice and close to my lash line. Alright, so so far for this eye, I already have the pinky shade blended. What I'm going to do is I am going to go into that same shade and put that on the lid all over. Into Death Moth, okay? 
very lightly just to add a little definition to the eye this is effortless i want it to be effortless and soft i don't want it to be very defined i want it to be a very soft wearable easy everyday look i'm going to go into web on a pencil brush and put that as the inner highlight and then I'm just taking a pencil brush into that death moth. I'm going to just put it really close. Keeping it on the outer edge. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this eye that I did with the other with the shade spider. I'm gonna go in with a couple of coats of mascara. So here we are with two more looks, more soft, more wearable. I would totally rock this at any given time, but these are looks that to me are softer and show the palette's versatility. It's not just colors and bold looks. You can definitely have color and just tone it down, make it a little more soft, a little more romantic. So. What does Mo think after trying Sydney Gray Shadows for the first time? I think they are fantastic. <laughs> I really think that they're nice. They're great quality. They've got great pigmentation. They blend beautifully. They're so buttery smooth. I mean, we created four different looks. And I used a total of 13 of the 15 shadows in this palette. I love the quality of the shadows. It's definitely versatile. You can make it nice and bold or you can tone it down and keep it soft. Big congratulations to Mel Thompson on her beautiful creation of the Tiny Marvels palette with Sydney Grace. Thank you guys so much for sending it to me so that I was able to share it with you guys. And again, she launches this Friday, August 7th. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, exclusive to the Sydney Grace website, $52, 15 beautiful, absolutely beautiful shadows, and a total weight of 30 grams. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and allowing me to share this beautiful palette with you. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.